Hello, welcome to Two Controls on Sofa. Back with the Blackman Rovers career and uh, just doing a bit of warm up, um, practicing hitting both posts without it going in. Right, well, if you've been watching this series already, you'll know that things aren't going too well. Um, if this is your first time, uh, I'd love to hear your comments below. Click that like button and the subscribe button. Um, but yeah, if you've been watching, you know things haven't been going too well up until now. Now, that's not saying it's going to change. Uh, as you'll see, that a horrible, horrible free kick given against us there for, for absolutely nothing. And 1-0 uh, down to Sheffield Wednesday from a cracking free kick, though. What a free kick. Um, so, yeah, the misery continues uh, this season. That's three minutes in. Just three minutes into the game, and we're 1-0 down. And it is an uphill battle. Um, some nice play from Tyler Blackett there, who's earned a first-team spot. Uh, Danny Guthrie's having a run in uh, the team. Uh, but as always, we're into October now, uh, so January's coming uh, pretty fast, so get your comments in below. Um, let me know who you think I should sign, sell, um, and as always, uh, if you think I should be playing someone, playing a player somewhere else, or playing a player instead of some other player, um, comment below. Always like hearing your comments. Um, but as you can see, the pressure is being firmly put on Sheffield Wednesday, but it's just not enough. Um, as um, has been all too evident uh, this season so far. Um, the pressure We've put pressure on teams, but just not scored. And Great save by Steele, and I'm not quite sure what that striker was doing, because if it had gone for it, it had scored. So, nearly into the, the second half now, and that's going to, uh, no it's not, we're still going for it, great kick up field from uh, Jason Steele, and that is it, first half over. Um, I don't, I wasn't too disappointed with the first half because um, I thought we were the better team, just that awesome free kick we couldn't do much about, but again, like the last episode, we just didn't um, have that killer instinct, which was the word of the day for there. Uh, but yeah, as you saw, we lost 1-0 to Sheffield Wednesday and uh, the misery continues. On to Newcastle now and <clears throat> it's going to be difficult, but we're going to test Grant Hanley early. Obviously the ex-Rovers player, um, Danny Graham managing to get the header over Grant Hanley, but wasn't strong enough to get a goal and here Newcastle on the attack also dangerous and Colback puts it away nice and easy bad defending again um, what can you do <laughs> this uh, was always going to be a tough game um, I, th I thought we did quite well for 30 odd minutes but Sort of after that goal, it was um, it went downhill from there. Unfortunately, the pressure was constant. The shots were constant, and uh, as you can see, we've we've just entered the second half, and the the pressure is still coming, and um, there really isn't much we can do about it. Um, still a little foul there. Um, but yeah, as, uh, so get your comments in, as always. <laughs> There's not much I can say about this. It's pretty bad at the moment. We are, we're not even getting close. Um, it's just constant pressure from Newcastle. Um, we really, really need to, to try changing something. So close not to be 2-0 down there. Um... Again, 90th minute, it's been full on this, it's full on pressure. 
Um, I could probably count the amount of times we put pressure on them on one finger. Probably. It's se several mistakes like that, that awful pass. You know, we, we've relieved the pressure, we've got out our own box, about to get out the whole half, and Callback could have had two there. What a shot. And again, another good shot. And Steele has been working hard today. The defence haven't because they've just not, <laughs> not been doing anything. And here it is. The pressure continues right up to the last minute. Newcastle have a last minute corner. I think it's last minute. It should be. And again, another shot. Wasn't on target. Didn't cause any trouble. But it was constant. Um, I think everyone was relieved when that match ended. And I think we did quite well only to lose 1-0, if I'm honest. Uh, but we're on to Ipswich now. This is a big one. Both at the bottom of the table. We need a, we need points. We need to pick your points up. We haven't won yet this season. With five draws, seven losses. It is not good. Five points this season. And uh, I said in the last episode, I've tried to avoid see, looking at the table. As Danny Gray charges forward. And um, he seems to have earned his place back. Um, he did get dropped for a little while, but he's uh, he's not scoring, but he's he's putting pressure on, which is, uh, is all we can ask at the moment. Again, breaking out, trying to keep Ipswich on the back foot. Liam Feeney um, charging down the left-hand side. And Danny Graham again with an excellent header. And um, just... Wide of the post. Bit of trickery here from Ipswich, but blasted it wide. That's the first real threat they've had. And again, they're coming back with it. Only 20 minutes gone. There's quite a lot happened already in comparison to other games. Um, it's looking 50-50 at the moment. As Ipswich are piling on some pressure to get that first goal and is that it no so close here we go into the second half and Tyler Blackett has been excellent these last couple of games and Feeney's on the charge and what a goal by Liam Feeney first goal for Blackburn Rovers and he's put Blackburn 1-0 up against Ipswich Town and could we be on our way to all three points here? The first win of the season. This could be massive. But there's still a long way to go. And we're just four minutes later. And Ipswich are again powering on the pressure. And it is 1-1. One, one. It did not last long. Um, it was good being ahead. <laughs> but it didn't last long. Ipswich power and the pressure again. 70th minute and they're charging down. I think that McGoldrick again. Looking for his second of the game. Another 10 minutes left and it's all square. Rovers charging downfield. Great cross by Marshall. Danny Graham with a great header. And I think that's the third header of the game. And he finally manages to put it in the corner of the net. And we are 2-1 up. And the clock is ticking down. Can Upswich do anything here? Rovers have conceded so many late goals this season. Oh, wow. How did he miss from there? Wow. He was right over goal there. How did he not get it on target? That's all he needed to do. And that would have been nestled in the back of the net. But they're back with the ball. Ipswich are just piling it on right now with a dying minutes to the half. Another shot off the boy. Can Rovers get it away? Another shot. Great save by Steele. And it looks like 10 shots for Ipswich and only 4 for Blackburn Rovers. But it finishes 2-1. And we have our first win of the season. And how good that feels. We had to work for it though. We did not make that easy on ourselves. And I do say, um, I think Ipswich will be disappointed with that result. I think, uh, if I'm being honest, they deserved a draw out of that. 
Uh, but we've taken all three points for the first time this season. Could this be a stepping stone? And can we start now climbing the table? So, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button and I'd love to see you again next time. Bye-bye!